Hello Sun Exchangers, welcome to this, the 40th episode of Sun Exchange Video Diaries. This is your first port of call to get up to date on all things Sun Exchange, so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. So firstly, let's address the serious issue of COVID-19 and how this is impacting not just Sun Exchange, but the entire world. As you can see, I'm now presenting from home. Sun Exchange is uh, all working remotely because South Africa is now under a lockdown condition. This means that we're all being isolated for 21 days and we're carrying on working as normal to make sure we keep providing the service to you. So on behalf of Sun Exchange, to all of you who are also undergoing lockdown conditions due to this pandemic, we are thinking of you, we understand how difficult it makes life. And for those of you who are in countries not yet impacted by this, this horrific virus, please take care and keep social distancing measures in place and do everything you can to prevent the spread of this horrible virus. For those of you who want more detail in how COVID-19 is impacting the world and how it will change the world, I do recommend you tune in to the podcast which I featured in recently, which is with David Orban, it's called Searching for the Question, and it was a deep dive into COVID-19, how it's impacting not just me, but the planet. So do check the link for that below if you wanna learn more. Since then, the President of South Africa made an announcement, basically announcing a lockdown on all non-critical services. Now, energy delivery is one of those services that is deemed to be critical. So we're now trying to achieve some clarity on whether solar installations qualify as energy delivery and energy security. We do believe it does, but we'll make sure to keep you updated if we believe this lockdown will in any way impact our ability to deliver solar power installations. It's very heartwarming and encouraging that the Sun Exchange community is continuing to use the tools available to them to make positive change. Our most recent crowd sale to Solar Power Westville Veterinary Hospital was launched and sold out in just five hours. This is the first project of its kind to Solar Power and Animal Hospital. It was a 33 kilowatt solar power plant and congratulations to all of you that got solar cells in that project. We'll be updating you via email on next steps on the installation of that project. A crowd sale still open with cells available is for Ushaka Mall. It's our biggest solar project to date and also the highest earning solar cells we've ever had available on Sun Exchange. It's over 70% sold so far. We've also now extended it for another 30 days, so all of you who've not yet managed to get cells in that, pro in that project now have another opportunity to do so. The procurement process for that project has already started, which will reduce any delays when it comes to actually deploying and implementing that solar project. So to get this project sold, I do encourage all of you to share this project with your friends and family. Sun Exchange grew by word of mouth, so we're gonna get projects like this delivered faster if you continue to share this amongst your social networks. With Ushakamul Project, we are pleased to have announced a new partnership with the Overberg Fire Protection Association. This is now an ongoing collaboration to allow you, the Sun Exchange community, to donate proceeds to this organization which works to prevent wildfires. We posted a blog on this new partnership last week, so I do implore all of you to go and check it out and watch the associating video so you can understand more about the work this organization does and why it becomes more important over time that organizations like this are able to carry on with their work. So next solar project's coming up on the Sun Exchange. Brackenfell High School is the latest school to be going solar through Sun Exchange. It's located here in Cape Town. This is another opportunity for you to get involved with lowering the cost of educating the next generation, whilst also demonstrating to them how energy production should be being done into the future. This project is coming soon, so keep an eye out for it. It will sell out fast, it's 50 kilowatts, so keep an eye on your inboxes and our social media when we make the announcement that has gone live. Also coming soon is our latest spa supermarket. This is the fourth spa supermarket to be going solar powered through Sun Exchange. It's already listed as coming soon. It's 150 kilowatts. We were fortunate enough to get out to Toos River to make a video on this project before we're put under lockdown. Now supermarkets, as we're now becoming aware, are critically important to communities. So this spa supermarket is now more important than ever to the community that it serves. So do watch the video of that project and keep an eye out on your inbox and our social media channels for when we announce this crowd sale is open. Kruterskur High School was live, the system was working, but we've had to turn it off because we have not yet received the paperwork from Cape Town giving us the approval to do so. This is due to delays of people working from home, this is beyond our control, but we'll make sure the system goes live the second we get that signed paperwork and do stand by and thank you for your patience. 
The solar power plant up in Belfast powering the Spa supermarket, that is live. The system is firing on all cylinders. We've been up to do an inspection of it. Everything is looking absolutely fantastic. So stand by your Sun Exchange wallet for your first payment at the start of April. Same story with CPOA Pinelands. That system is now all up and running. Your solar cells are powering this retirement home. So you'll be receiving your first payment of solar powered money from those solar cells at the start of April. And finally, the latest solar project to go live was Musenberg Junior School. This solar project has already produced 2.6 megawatt hours of electricity since it went live last week. So congratulations to all of you who are also now earning solar powered money from your solar cells in that project. Okay, and now some updates on solar project installations. These are our most recent crowd cells you may have bought solar cells in. So firstly, Salomon Senecal and Cape Town High School. We're still waiting for paperwork approvals from the relevant municipalities before the installations can begin. But rest assured, we'll give you an update when that installation process is gonna be beginning. And finally on installation update is Bergfleet High School. We have all the necessary approvals already in place for this project and the procurement process has already started. So do stand by for an installation date on that, which we'll get to you as soon as we have it. Sun Exchange platform features. This is a, a section that we've been wanting to give you an update in a while. So this is to let you know about what improvements to expect on the Sun Exchange platform. A small update on the ordering process is about to go live. This is just to make the process of ordering solar cells more intuitive and easier to do. That's going live very soon. The main feature we're working on is a whole upgrade of the Sun Exchange dashboard. The first stage of this upgrade is now in testing. So do expect that first stage update to go live very soon with subsequent updates soon to follow. The progress in developing our software has been constrained by, it, by the size of our team. So I'm delighted to announce a new team member to our software development, David Coomber. David Coomber has worked for 20 years in software testing in financial services, and he's looking forward to getting stuck into providing quality assurance and making sure that new features work as they're supposed to for you, Science Exchange members, so you can expect the platform to be as better than ever moving forward. So David Coomber, welcome on board to the Sun Exchange team. So that's it for this episode of Sun Exchange Video Diaries. I appreciate it was a longer one than usual, but there's so much activity going on behind the scenes. We're continuing to operate despite the conditions that we're under. So best wishes to all of you watching this video. I hope you're safe, I hope you're healthy. We pledge to keep things going to you as much as we possibly can. And I wish you all health and happiness, and I will see you next time.